Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in XO. Today, let's say what we are going to do is to try to use the deep speech project to convert our speech to text in real time by using our microphone. So, uh, to do this, first uh, we need to get into this page and from this page we are going to actually download a few files for example the pbmm file i'm going to just uh, copy the link of that file and, and probably put it uh, into here it takes time but we can wait um while he's in the downloading i can just uh, open another tab and here's another file that we would need. It's called uh, S-C-O-R-E-R. -E I'm going to copy this link too, then download it. Mm, but we haven't finished it yet. Let's say what do we need else. Uh, no, that would be enough. We just need two of them. Okay, the first one is called uh, deepspeech.pbmm. The second one, it is called deepspeech.scorer. All right, for me, the first file has been downloaded. Now we can uh, think about something else. Since we already have the file, we need a code, right? Uh, for the code, we're going to go to another repository called Deep Speech Ex Examples. Under this repository, you can see here we got a folder which called micro VAD streaming. Um, I guess the meaning for that is it, it is to allow us to use our microphone to get that uh, speech then convert it to text. So anyway, we need this repository. So I'm going to um, clone this repository from the cloud to local by using get clone with the uh, get link all right okay after the clone uh we would have a repository right in our local let's get into it and from here we can see a lot of different folders i'm going to go to the micro where it is streaming all right in this folder actually we got a python file that's the file that we actually need for this file uh, we would see a lot of different code that we couldn't understand it, but it's fine. Let's say what we what do we do? Uh, we need to check out the readme file, and from here he just said how can we um, actually use it? First, we need to install the dependencies that uh, it needs. Uh, to do that, we're gonna say sudo pub3 install the requirements. Okay, after the installation, we should be fine. Let's uh, go to the document again. Uh, it says that we need to install this if, if we are under the Nidic system. So let's do it. Uh, it says uh, we cannot install that. So uh, I'm going to change a method to do that. So I'm going to use aptitude. Okay, this seems to be the good solution. So let's just uh, do this. Yeah. All right. After that, we um, we just installed that uh, system packaging. Uh, now we should be able to use it. How can we do that? We can say Python micro whatever .py file with the files that uh, we would use. So the first file we're gonna use is the model. So M. Where is the model? Uh, you know what? To make this simpler, I just move the two files to the example folders that we have. So for this case, that will be micro that we the whatever string. Then uh, we get into there. Now you should be able to say that we got two files available there. And then I'm going to say Python micro ready streaming that file with the model file which is a deep uh let's just make a copy here all right then uh 
except the model, we're gonna specify the score scorner. So S with the length of this file. Now we should be fine. Let's run it. And we got an error. No model lambda deep speech. That's um quite strange. Uh so since I'm in a virtual environment, so instead of use sudo pipe, I'll just use sudo, I'll just use pipe, then install the requirements that it needs. Okay, we're done. Then uh let's run that uh, command again. And we got an error. The binary file has says uh, whatever, but the header says you should be um, this. Uh, I know why this would happen because I just uh, let's have a look at the size. The corner size should be larger than two hundred megabytes. So I I did something wrong with the scanner. So I need to uh, download it again from the internet. Here we go. Uh, I need to download this again from the GitHub. Okay, just wait for this to be finished because this file is quite large of, uh, about my, or about, uh, let's say, one gigabytes. All right, uh, finish it here. Now let's try it uh, again. See if it's working. It's not working. It, it says, let's see, um, Oh, it's working, it's working. Now, as you can see, um, for example, for example, uh, it's not that good as you think it might be. It's just like what we did in uh, in the previous video with another speech to text framework. It's not so good at all. And sometimes um, it's, it's, it's bad, I, I guess. Um, but for this one, it's definitely based on the Deep learning based on the, you know, uh, neural network. Um, yeah, but it's not working so well. Uh, if you ask me why this would happen, I will probably tell you that uh, it's because uh, we haven't enough data. And also, let's say for this project, Deep Speech, it's, it's an open source project. So, uh, it will definitely will not work as well as those um, business model, like uh, what Google did, what the uh, other big company did. So um, I don't know how 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 would will, how you would think it, but um, let's say something is better than nothing. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's all what I I I I want to share with you. So that's today's tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.